Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot. Grand Rising, first of all. Coming to you with another Love Tarot reading. This one is going to be a general reading for the collective. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. We're going to do a general reading to find out about someone that you're considering for a relationship and answering some much needed questions and things that you should address before considering this individual. All right. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description. Subscribe to my channel. Share the video to share the wealth and let's get into it. I hope you woke up with a light heart. I hope your night's rest was amazing. If you are on a different time zone and you haven't gone to sleep as yet, I hope you have a great night's rest and sweet dreams. All right, so let's see what's going on with your energy. So you have someone that you're considering for a relationship and you want to date them, but you have some questions that you need answers to um now we need to know for you do the do they have the potential to be the one i think that's what your biggest concern is uh with the king of cups energy yes absolutely this person is in control of their emotions i feel like this is someone that's mature for you they are um an older person than you maybe by five six years and this is maybe the first time that you've dated someone that was this much older than you. But I feel like this is something that you need because you've always judged a person's character based on starting off with the with the minuscule stuff like, you know, how old are you? You're not old enough for me, blah, 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 blah. But now you're really looking at character in a deeper way. Um... I feel like you are connecting or you will have the potential to connect with this person on a deeper level because they value life in a spiritual way. They value genuine connection and conversations. They respect life. They respect their parents. They came from a great home. They give you that security that you feel uh this is definitely pisces energy big pisces energy just be careful of being attached to words make sure that you look at actions i feel like this person has some um emotional things that they go through from time to time but they have learned through their experience how to address it and how to communicate effectively and you have to be sure that you can match that energy because this is someone who enjoys communicating um they may not be the most um they make a lot of decisions based on their their gut feeling. They're like a gut type of person, which is cool because you have that high priestess energy and you move based on your intuition. So I feel like this would be a great balance for you. If there's a possibility for a commitment, I think there is. But at this time, I don't feel as though you, the person who is inquiring about this connection is ready for what this person has to offer right away. They're giving you a whole lot more than you feel ready to give. You have to be willing to open up your heart in a way that they would be feel comfortable opening up their heart to match. I feel like you have to give um, as much as you're taking. So commitment can definitely be an option, but you have to open up your heart to do so. I feel like you want what you're you're asking for something that you're not necessarily all the way ready to give as yet um i feel like the conflicting influences is that this person may speak of themselves a lot this person may need a lot of reassurance with the six of wands they are one who um feed off of compliments and constantly having to be told that they're doing well and needing your reassurance in various ways that may come off as a bit off to you. Like, why 
do you constantly need me to do this? Which is why I am recommending that you work on yourself. You know, with the Four of Pentacles, you have to be a bit more empathetic to this personality type um, because it can certainly work. But you have to be open to communicate when things seem to be a little off for you. Things seem to throw you off your game as in like, why is this person so needy in this way? But it's because of the emotional things that they have been through in the past. They may have a bit of trust issues, but again, they won't have an issue with com um, communicating that and letting you know what they need of you in a relationship. The positive influence is that this person has um, a great work ethic. I feel like they are, they may have a, a, a family business where they work closely with a sister, like their sister, um, that's in the same age range as well. Or they may just have great work, work ethic, like this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like they know how to get a lot of things done at the same time, which is something that you will um benefit from because you may be someone who is not great at multitasking so i feel like this is something that they will have a great influence on with helping you um what you can do to assist um in making this relationship something that you can actually manifest is to work on the things within yourself that you may have brought forward from the past. So I've already picked up on an energy that you have a bit of a selfish energy when it comes to your time. And um, I feel like you may have gone through a rough patch in your past, quite a few rough patches to the point where you operate on the defense where people who come into your energy have to explain themselves overly to get through the barriers that you built up. Um, and if you want a smooth relationship, you have to make sure that you're addressing the traumas within yourself that causes you to do things that may come off as unfair and unreasonable, which is why the devil card is here for you. So I do feel like you have some habits that may not be best for a relationship like this with a person like this with such a needy personality. I feel like you may hurt them. Um in that way because they're going to need reassurance from you um constantly and i feel like you would possibly hurt them because they're very sensitive big pisces energy here um now what they have to do to be a part of your life is show you that you they can be trusted um but not even that you have to open up your heart in order for them to be a part of your life. You have to be open to the idea of the relationship that you're asking for. I feel like you're asking for something that you yourself is not ready for. I just feel like you are in love with the idea of having a relationship and having someone that is this mature. I feel like you're romanticizing the idea of being with this person, especially someone that is so successful, but you need to make sure that you are not making them jump through hoops to get to through those walls because they are already willing. Um, now, it's going to take a lot of work in this particular connection for you to be happy with them, says the Seven of Pentacles. It's going to take a lot of self-love for you to accept their love and understand that the things that they show you is on account of their experiences and you have to be empathetic enough to know that the experience that you're bringing to them is on account of your experiences and you're coming from two different walks of life and you are um, a student to your experience. So you can you can be more understanding by opening up and allowing them the opportunity to see you for who you are and um, not be so closed off. So do I think you're ready for this connection right now? No, I don't. 
like to commit right now. I do not. However, I feel like with work, with work on yourself and admitting the things that are triggering you with this person, you would know right away if this person is right for you because they would tell you straight up, this is a very mature individual that you're dealing with, no matter what the gender is. This person will tell you straight up once they see you if you if they can work with you. And I feel like also there's another energy where this person may even have the potential to just disappear if you constantly hold back from them because this person is not hurting for dates. So this can also put you in a predicament where you'd be wondering what happened because this person can very well get bored with trying to get you to open up Pisces energy here again when they have other suitors. You're not the only person that this person is considering. So yeah, they would pull away quick as hell if you don't open up and let them know what your concerns are regarding the connection. Because you do have a connection, but the thing about it is that the age difference and also the maturity and the approach to difficult conversations could play an effect into how this relationship will not work if you don't allow this person in. And once you get to that um, open communication with this person in the beginning stage right now, then you'll know for sure if this is a, a relationship that you'd like to continue on. But I feel like if you continue to be reserved the way that you are, it's not going to work out. All right, so I hope this clears up anything for you. If you'd like to book a reading or you want more insight on this particular scenario and have specific questions, please hit the link in the description. My website is tellemtribetarot.com. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications. Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess. You know, I love it when you tell me hi. And we'll talk soon. Love and light, tribe.